What is it, my friends? So, Cam. Cam is a Netflix original movie which basically deals with this young woman who was a Cam girl. And basically, one day when she's almost about to reach the top 50, she notices something weird the next day. There is somebody online pretending to be her, and it actually looks like her, sounds like her, but it's not really her because they're live and she's watching it. So, what the hell's going on? So, anyways... I'm just going to cut to the ending. We found out that this girl, actually Alice, is actually being portrayed by somebody else, but it's actually her. And throughout some investigation, she finds out that this actually happened to other cam girls as well on this website, and who knows if any other website. The top girl on the cam side is actually one of the girls this has happened to. And what makes things even eerier is that this clone or whatever of that cam girl has been camming for over like six months now and the other girl has been dead for that time as well so basically this girl is dead but there's still like her clone or whatever camming so she decides to get to the bottom of hers and ultimately through almost losing her life she does end up beating this thing but she decides to just delete her account and that's pretty much the end of it so what the hell happened so We see that at the end she is going to start camming again. She's taking on a different alter ego. Now will be Eve bot. And her mother who actually finds out throughout the movie. Which creates a bit of a drama. That she is a cam girl. But is now accepting of it. Says but what if it happens all over again. And she's like well we'll just start over again. So it looks like she's accepted the fact that if it happens again. She's going to have to take drastic measures. And get her identity back. But she's going to do it back because i guess she loves it or it's the money because she's earning a pretty hefty amount as we find out throughout the film what exactly is causing these clones and what is it that led to her becoming a clone well i think that this actually is connected to real life and things that actually happen with this type of ai and we've seen it throughout news stories i think philip defranco did a story about this as well i'll link it below BuzzFeed has done a story about this as well, and it's called deep faking. So pretty much the AIs, the algorithms, all that are able to take a person's like appearance and all of that, maybe some phrases, or somebody could add the phrases and then manipulate it to sound like that person. And pretty much you have that person on screen and all of this, but they really don't even know that this is happening. And somebody can make like a video of you and then just take a bunch of other videos put them together and then create something totally new of you doing as long as they have a full video of you like whatever and then add the voices if they have the voices or somebody like i said can manipulate it so i think this is what's happening with this cam girl and this situation i think that whoever is doing this whether it's the website or anybody else is just doing this and maybe because it makes money for them because people donate they get a percentage I'm not sure who's behind this, but I'm pretty sure this is what's going on. I don't think it's a supernatural thing like many people are pointing out. I think it's more something of when technology definitely turns its back on everybody. So I think this that's exactly what's going on here. It's pretty much taking advantage of all these people. And I think it didn't happen to her before because she hadn't broke through the top 50. And breaking through the top 50 shows this company that this person's making a lot of money and we need them to cam a bit more but who knows if they're going to want to cam as much so let's just make a fake profile for them especially for the top rated cam girl that was on that website of course that she would have a clone of herself so yeah pretty much that's what i think is going on here in the end and in the end i think she has accepted that this is the way things go But yeah, if you want to see more, I'll leave a link to the Philip DeFranco video as well as to the BuzzFeed video that they did with Jordan Peele where he was uh, pretending to be Obama. And it's, it's very eerie and very interesting, so I'll definitely leave that for you to watch. But what did you think about Cam? I thought it was a pretty uh, interesting movie. It was definitely more creepy than a horror. And I, I think I'm excited to see what else uh, this director brings. Because he talks a lot about technology when he was talking about this film. So I'm pretty sure he's going to focus more on that in his next project. But we'll have to wait and see. Overall, I'm sorry this video is over a week late. I've seen this movie like a week ago. But I just didn't have time to make the video because of a lot of things going on. But hopefully um, you do enjoy my explanation and my thoughts on it. And make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share all that good stuff. I'll see you all next time. Stay positive.